we join conservation teams to search for the endangered pink dolphin. With less traffic in these waters because of the coronavirus pandemic, they're trying to find out if the mammals are returning to their historic habitat around Hong Kong. We travel through areas where high-speed ferries used to crisscross, taking passengers from the city to Macau and mainland China. There are few vessels in sight due to the travel restrictions. It's been like this for months. In a network of locations throughout this region, we've got what, what are called hydrophones. So they're listening to the underwater soundscape and recording that in a, a pre-established pattern. The low levels of sea traffic have given scientists a unique opportunity to understand the impact of noise from shipping and vessels. After a few hours, we reach the coast of Lantau Island, developing rapidly yet a key ecosystem for the dolphins. And we spot them. Hello, there we go. They are officially known here as the Chinese white dolphins but they turn pink when their blood pumps through the vessels near the surface of their skin. So today we saw about six to eight dolphins um, and we saw a mix of young and old individuals and they were engaging in a ver variety of behaviors. So not just feeding, not just traveling, they did everything. They were socializing, they were jumping up in the air. It shows they are not stressed and so more likely to breed. It gives weight to claims that there have been more sightings since the pandemic. It's a glimmer of hope. The population of the dolphins has dropped by more than 80% in the past 15 years. One of the main reasons, major infrastructure and reclamation projects, like Hong Kong Airport's third runway. And now, with this study, scientists can also show the impact of underwater noise. They hope their findings will push the government to take action. We're not saying we want the high-speed ferries to stop. We're saying that we would just like them to take account of this prime habitat area. For example, by just changing their course slightly or traveling more slowly. It's estimated around 2,000 of these dolphins are left in the wild. Around the world, there have been more sightings of endangered animals due to the limited movement of the human population and the lockdowns imposed by the pandemic. It's a stark reminder of the impact we have on nature and also shows that there still is a lot more we can do to protect the planet and help the environment recover. Divi Gopalan, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.